I'm Pam on Sunset. Today we're making gnocchis. Ooh! YouTube inspiration for this is from Byron Talbot, and he's a chef who has a whole bunch of food videos up there, and they all look real delicious. So my very first YouTube video was the pasta video. And it seems like a lot of people were shocked to see how easy it was to make pasta. So now let's see how easy it is to make gnocchi. Uh, I think it's gonna be harder. But let's find out the real deal in this DIY. For today's tutorial, you need two potatoes, eggs, flour, salt, and cheese. First step is to take aluminum foil and put the potatoes in there after you generously salt them. Salt and potatoes are the best combo ever. Then you wrap them up, and then you stick them in the oven for an hour and a half at 375. All the potato ones take so long. An hour and a half later. All right, the potatoes are done cooking. Time to take them out. Yeah, I closed the oven door with my foot. What's up now? Let them cool for about two. I'm gonna do two, put them in the oven then. Two minutes. The next step is to peel the potatoes a lot. I feel like his potato skin came up a lot easier than mine. I really need to invest in a paring knife. Does anyone want to buy me a paring knife? <laughs> you really gotta let these potatoes cool for way longer than two minutes. Lies! He's lying! <sighs> okay, that step's done. Next step is to make your potato flour, which means you take the potato and put it in a strainer and make it a dough. I have a strainer with a really big hole, so I'm kind of afraid that this might not work out. Yeah, it's not working at all. <laughs> I'm guessing the ideal strainer is a metal strainer. Oh, it's starting to. Definitely not as easy as he made it look. This isn't working very well. Okay, let's see if this is easier. Way easier. Although it's a little bit bigger. Maybe I should be using the smaller side. No, nothing. Nothing's happening. Ooh. This side. Alright, this one seems to be the closest to what was happening with the strainer. I don't know if you guys saw my potato chip video a few weeks ago, but. I listed all of the potato items that I love, and I forgot about gnocchi. So I have that to the list too. It's like pasta and potato combined. It's carb heaven. Whew, I think we're done with, with just that stuff. So wash my hands. That was a lot of potato grinding. Okay, this is where you are supposed to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese in, but if you don't know, I'm allergic to dairy. But I'm gonna put some Romano cheese in because that actually looks super cheap, and I can actually have that. It's time to roll up the sleeves. It's getting, it's getting real in here. I'm telling you the real deal. The next step is to add two to three egg yolks to the mixture. I'm not really sure how to get just the yolk. done before with Alex's mom about two years ago at Christmas time. Uh oh, it's starting to break. Oh, it's like a big chunk of potato. How'd that get in there? Once you have your long piece of dough rolled out, then you cut it into little mini pillow pieces. Then you repeat with each quarter. That's a lot of gnocchi. It's also a big mess. 
put the gnocchi in salted boiling water for five minutes. Gnocchi is almost done cooking. The next step is either to saute it or to strain it out. I'm gonna choose to strain it. They look kind of weird, but I'm sure they're still edible, right? All right, they're done. I added some pesto sauce to it, and now it's time for my favorite part, the taste test. They're not bad, but they're not as good as the ones in the store. They definitely don't look right, so I don't know what I did wrong. Killer Girl tip number one. I would add the three eggs that it says to add because I ended up adding it eventually. Anyways, second really girl tip is if the strainer isn't working for you, end up just use a cheese grater like I did. My third really girl tip, make sure that you grate it really really well and then no big chunks of potato sneak their way in there. If you're new here and you like that video, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you can be notified. I have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday and they come out sometime between 8 and 9 a.m. Pacific time. It doesn't taste right.